the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Winds of Winter and a Song of Ice and Fire update video. Alright my friends, in this video we will be looking at the very recent update released by George R. R. Martin on his Not A Blog website. Once again, George R. R. Martin mentions the Winds of Winter, therefore I must say something about it. Let's have a look at what he said on his website. The main reason why he wrote this blog was to inform everyone about the work that has been done on the Sky Railway, a historic short haul railroad he has invested in. He goes on to say that he almost named the update, I've been working on the railroad, but my readers would have taken that the wrong way. And anyway, it isn't true. I am one of the owners. Mostly what I have been doing is throwing out ideas and writing checks. Sky's employees, an energetic and enthusiastic crew, have been doing the work, all those things I mentioned up above, and lots more besides. I have not driven a single spike, laid a single rail, reupholstered a seat, or crawled under a coach to check the wheels, and I won't be selling tickets or driving the trains either. Though I do reserve the right to blow the whistle now and again, nor have I been in the kitchen with Dina. I have been working, yes, yes, but not on the railroad. I have been writing The Winds of Winter, editing three new Wilds Cards books, sitting down with some amazing screenwriters and showrunners to create 317 new Game of Thrones successor shows for HBO and HBO Max and serving as executive producer on other television and film projects in various stages of development, including Dark Wings for AMC, Joker Town for Peacock, Road Marks, and Who Fears Death for HBO. Oh, and I was the executive producer on our recently wrapped short film of Howard Waldrop's Night of the Cooters. So I have been working, maybe too bloody hard, but that's another tale for another blog. Though these days, even finding the time to blog is hard, but I digress. So, as you can see, the Winds of Winter is barely even mentioned, which is understandable because he is working on so many other things. Now, he says that finding the time to blog is hard, but I'm wondering where he even finds the time to write the Winds of Winter when he is working on all of these other things that he seems to be more interested in and excited about these days. <laughs> Does anyone else wish that George would let us know exactly how much more he needs to write before he finishes The Winds of Winter? Now, I know, I know, he doesn't owe us anything, but it would be nice if he would occasionally let us know how much more he has left to write before he can release his next book. If you're someone who watches all of my update videos, or at the very least, someone who follows George R. R. Martin's Not A Blog website, then you will know that he has given us several updates over the year regarding The Winds of Winter. Every once in a while, he will reveal some information about how much he has been writing. But since he has missed deadline after deadline, his updates are becoming more and more vague. As a matter of fact, he hardly even mentions The Winds of Winter anymore. Now, you know, before Game of Thrones ended, I would have said The Winds of Winter is arguably one of the most highly anticipated books of the century. Almost every Game of Thrones in A Song of Ice and Fire fan was anxiously awaiting for its release, but now I'm not so sure. And I say that because I see what a lot of the fans say whenever I make a video on this subject. Unfortunately, there are many fans who believe we will never see The Winds of Winter. As you all know, George R. R. Martin has been writing The Winds of Winter for well over a decade now, and there are many different theories surrounding why he hasn't finished it yet. Some fans say he has lost interest, while others say he is waiting to finish A Dream of Spring so he can release them at once. Well, based on this update alone, I don't think we should expect it anytime soon. He has his hands in so many other things, I don't see when he will ever get around to finishing the story, which is very, very unfortunate, considering it has been beloved by so many fans for so long. All we can do now is hope that one day, his interest for A Song of Ice and Fire will be reignited somehow, some way. <laughs> 